Good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Yes, someone asked yesterday, are the Hawaiian shirts done? I said, no, even though the furnace might kick on at any moment, we'll give it a try. What's the Hawaiian shirt for? Ah, just a little glimpse of hope of a little bit warmer temperatures next week. But uh, what I'm going to be talking about right now is that we do have showers redeveloping. We're in a classic lake effect showery pattern rotating all around Michigan. It's there today. It's there tomorrow also. It's a water spout maker. It's even a small hail maker like we saw yesterday. That's the cold air loft being able to freeze, come down as small uh, hailstones, pea size or so. Uh, Todd Jacina says pouring in uh, Traverse City right now. And we'll show you the radar here in just a second. Turning real chilly as the skies clear out as we get to Friday night, Saturday morning. And uh, yeah, a little hope for a tropical shirt here or there. So let's get to it. And this is the current radar. There's, the rain has two components today. It has lake effect component, which the lake is always there all day long. So that's starting to happen now as a trough, a cold air loft moves across Lake Michigan starting that next wave. And then it also has a, what I call a diurnal component. And that is that as you go into the afternoon, you get a more unstable with some sunshine and then you get the showers to pop even more. So we'll see an increased coverage on that. The satellite picture is oftentimes the best way to look at something like this. Um, let me get it in a good perspective for you. And you can basically just see that this disturbance over in Wisconsin and through west southwest uh, Michigan is rotating through the area, and that's what we'll see for today. So I expect the rainfall coverage to pick up. It's still going to be spotty. Here is my favorite uh, radar forecast at the moment in this situation. Um, so what I think we'll see. And this shows it okay. I don't think I don't think any of these radar forecasts are perfect. Uh, Mike Morris, you think we can golf Sunday morning in Jackson? We'll get to that. Ugh, probably going to be rain already, but real close. I'll get to that for you here in just a minute, Mike. Hey, good morning, Brenda Stahl from Jackson. A lot of folks from Jackson today, and Matthew from Traverse City. Good morning. So this is uh, one o'clock this afternoon. 2 o'clock, 3, 4, 5, 6 o'clock. So what it's trying to indicate is this, this arc of rainfall swings through the south central and then to the southeast part of the state during the day today. I would say anywhere you're at, you could have showers. The least likely area would be the northeast corner from, say, Gladwin up toward Alpena. And uh, so it's just a showery pattern, and you could expect it at any time. Now, we're going to look at the extended term for the on the European model. And uh, one thing I want you to pick out here, you see the blue lines, the blue lines are cold air, it's a basically it's temperatures below freezing at 5000 feet, but it's a good way to gauge that, you know, is there any cold air up there? And yes, there is. So we're into today with our showery pattern. Tomorrow can be some showers too in the thumb and maybe along the Lake Michigan and Lake Superior shorelines, but starting to minimize tomorrow. Inland areas will have some sunshine. And then we go into Saturday morning, lighter winds, clearer skies. That's our coldest morning widespread so far. Good morning, Pamela Jones from Bridgeport. And somebody asked, uh, Mike asked about Jackson uh, Sunday morning. This is already by 8 a.m. Sunday, and the shower's already starting with that next system. So I'd probably move it to Saturday if you can. Be way better. Little shot of cold air behind that storm system. And as we go into next week, just looking out extended, we still have the cold air near us. We have the warm air trying to come in late in the week, but I'll end it out 10 days. Now that's admittedly real far for a day-to-day -day exact forecast, but it gives you 
a good feel for what the weather pattern is uh, setting up like. Hey, I just realized my head is cut off a little bit here. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't mess it up too bad. Um, so, you know, we get out to 10 days and you still have some warmth to the south. You have quite a reservoir of cold to the north, which tells me we're going to kind of be balanced, balanced by up and down like we usually are in Michigan. Our average temperature is up 5 to 10 degrees above that average, down 5 to 10 degrees below that average, and that's what we're going to have. But the point being is there is cold air there. It will be possible to keep coming down. High temperatures now. Let's see here. Give me a second. Okay, so today we're in the 60s in the southeast and in the 50s in the north. And then tomorrow is a chilly, chilly day with high temperatures only in the low 50s in most places. And Saturday's chilly and Sunday is cloudy and chilly. So that's why Sunday doesn't rebound much because we get the clouds, showers already by Sunday morning. Leaf viewing this weekend, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Do I need to be Captain Obvious to you? Saturday. Hopefully you got the, the story there. Uh, any weather help for the fires in California? Not yet. Um, maybe Oregon. Those storm systems starting to come into British Columbia, they can drape some rain down into Washington and Oregon, but not into California yet. And then we're getting into late next week. Uh, well, early next week, Tuesday or so, and we start getting back to temperatures in the 60s. Middle of the week next week, to be honest with you, is probably going to be the best time for leaf viewing. So if you can sneak out of the office, the home office, <laughs> the couch <laughs> for a lot of folks, um, you know, working from home, the middle of next week would be good. Now, these are the low temperatures, probably more importantly. This is Saturday morning. We could have uh, frost or freeze. Anywhere it looks like maybe the heart of downtown Detroit might be spared with the heat island uh, helping a couple degrees. Uh, but, you know, uh, the rest of the area going to be uh, quite cold on Saturday morning. Hey, good morning from Howell, says Mary Brock Manning. I have a wedding on the 10th. Let's go back to that. A lot of weddings on the 10th. Um, we'll go back to that here in a second if we can get that far out. And then there's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So you're pretty much going to want to uh, definitely pick all your garden uh, vegetables before Saturday morning, I would say. Here's the 6 to 10 day forecast. And bear with me here. Uh, most importantly, temperatures, I think, for you. So 6 to 10 day, which is uh, late next week, trying to warm up. 8 to 14 day shows warmer than normal temperatures. That would be for the period uh, October 8th to 14th. I'm not so sure that it'll last long with the cold air reservoir to the north. So I do think we have warmer temperatures next week, but I'm not so sure it's going to be something that lasts more than three to five days as I see us kind of balancing back and forth. All right, let's go back to weddings on the 10th. We have a wedding on the 10th too, not us, but uh, one of our good friends. So let's take a look and see if we can get that far out even. Uh, okay, yes, this would be, this would end. Um, that would be Saturday afternoon on the 10th. Now, again, this is the end of a run 10 days out, so it's probably not going to be exactly like this. But the point being right now is it's dry with a cold front coming through and uh, probably temperatures in the 50s to low 60s or so. But you don't see the big bomb of rain over us, so that's half the battle. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me try that again. Uh, for those with weddings on the 10th, let's go back to it. Okay, so there you are. 
uh, Saturday afternoon, the 10th. Again, this could change a lot, so we'll just kind of watch that because I'm noticing a lot of requests for wedding forecasts on the 10th. Must be a very popular day. There you have it. Showers today. You can get soaked at any time, just like yesterday. When it rained for 10 or 15 minutes, you get soaked. You can get some small hail. We had a few water spouts on the Great Lakes yesterday. That can happen once again. And um, then we got cold temperatures in the mornings, and we're all going to see the frost on the grass by Saturday morning, exception downtown uh, Metro Detroit. And two-thirds of lower Michigan probably going below the 32-degree mark on Saturday morning. 1010 wedding? Yes, David Feinblum. <laughs> We've already talked about that. Yes, 1010 wedding. And right now, dry 50s and low 60s, cold front coming through, but bear in mind 10 days out. So it looks like we're going to be on wedding watch next week, starting Monday or Tuesday with a lot of people. Uh, Kelly Murdy, just tuning in. No problem. Frost this weekend? Yes. Saturday morning, maybe tomorrow morning, depending on where you're at, but definitely Friday morning. Hey, hello, His Hillsdale and Pe Penny Near. There you go. Camaro Christie says, time to put away the Camaro. Eh, give it a couple of weeks. How about that? You can still look good out there for a couple of weeks. You still have a